You served on the commission charged with investigating the causes of the BP oil spill. Mm -hmm. And I know we could spend two days on this, but in brief summary, what were the major causes of that oil spill in your opinion? The major causes were first, there has been an industry-wide culture that didn't uh, place safety as a very high priority. It's, it was surprising to me to learn that for every uh, one death in the North Sea, which is a much more formidable environment than the Gulf of Mexico. For every one death there, we've had five deaths in the Gulf of Mexico. That's just a dramatic example of the difference in safety standards. Uh, second, we found that there were a whole series of events that occurred on that platform, the Deepwater Horizon rig, uh, in the hours before the explosion, uh, which were the final nail uh, in the coffin. Uh, we found that it was a totally preventable, avoidable uh, accident. We made a number of recommendations as to what could be done uh, to try to dramatically reduce the likelihood of a repetition. Uh, I'm disappointed, frankly, that neither the industry uh, nor the Congress uh, has, in my judgment, uh, adequately seen this not only as a tragedy but as an opportunity to substantially improve their operations, particularly as it relates to human safety and environmental protection. I think I've read somewhere that you stated that there are other high-profile industries, maybe even the nuclear en mm -hmm. uh, energy industry and others, that have seen it important uh, to raise their safety uh, standards and so forth to pre prevent disasters. Why not the oil industry drilling in environmentally sensitive lands and engaged in deep water drilling? Well, I don't really know the answer to that question because you're absolutely right. For instance, commercial aviation, as recently as the 1950s, more than 50% of the American people would not fly on a commercial airliner because they didn't think it was safe. Today, there may be reasons not to fly, but concern over safety is not uh, typically one of them. Uh, the chemical industry, after the uh, tragic event in Bhopal, India, substantially increased its safety standards. The commercial nuclear power industry has substantially increased its standards. We think that those are all examples that the offshore oil and gas industry should follow. Why they haven't done it? I think it goes back to this culture of the wildcatter. Uh, most of the people who are currently doing offshore oil uh, are the sons, daughters, grandsons, granddaughters of the people who went out with a few bucks in their pocket in East Texas, punched a hole in the ground. If they found it, they were instant millionaires. If they didn't, they were broke. Uh, but they'd come back uh, as soon as they got some more dollars in their uh, blue jeans. Uh, that attitude uh, ha has continued to prevail uh, and has discouraged uh, real concerns or investments in those things that would make the whole offshore operation significantly safer, at least as safe as it is in the North Sea. 